Peace, love, light, balance, kings and queens. I'm Cree, and you're now in my kitchen. And today we're going to be cooking up, or shall I say, baking up some shortbread cookies and some chocolate chip cookies to make these cookie ice cream sandwiches. You don't need me keep on blabbing and blabbing and blabbing. Let's go ahead on and get started, okay? So we're going to start with the shortbread cookies first, all right? So in this bowl, you have... 10 tablespoons of unsalted butter and also one and a half teaspoons of salt. You're gonna need one and a half cups of powdered sugar. You're gonna need one cup and a half of all-purpose flour. And guess what? That is all you need, okay? Now this is just extra flour because afterwards everything gets um mixed up we need flour to roll out the dough okay the cookie dough so let's go ahead and cream our butter with our salt make sure that the butter is also room temperature okay you want to make sure that that butter is room temperature you guys Bring the butter really quick real quick simple recipe If you don't like the noise of it all, go ahead and turn your volume down, okay? Alright, so we're going to go ahead on and add our powdered sugar into this butter and salt. And we're going to cream that together, okay? simple it's basically butter powdered sugar and flour for shortbread cookies that's it and your salt now if you do have salt um butter then you know don't add the salt okay Now we're just um, mixing this until it gets like a whip type consistency, okay you guys? I'm just going to scoop my, um, my, my cream down in the bowl. All I'm doing. This part do take a little time. Anytime you're creaming butter, it takes a little time. So if you don't got time, then you might, I don't know what to tell you. Anything that tastes good takes time. You know, this is homemade, you know, everything from scratch. All right, we're almost there, you guys, as far as the whip, fluffy like uh, consistency with your butter and sugar. If you haven't 
already, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. So search Creed's Kitchen on YouTube. Go ahead and hit that red subscription button. And also, click that notification bell so that you know when I upload new videos, okay? Also, while you add it, head on over to my other social media platform, which is um, Instagram on and at cri.kitchen okay again that's instagram at cri.kitchen okay so now we're we don't whipped it up you know what i'm saying you know you know it should look something like this you know, after you done whipped it up, you know. Okay. So now we're just going to add the sugar in a little bit at a time, okay? always um start low and then bring your speed up so therefore you won't have to get flour everywhere like a crumbly like consistency and that's okay because we're gonna have to actually meet this dough a little bit okay that's exactly what you want the crumble like see how it looks crumbly if that makes sense sticky dough. Alright, I'm going to wash my hands and I'll be right back. Y'all know I wash my hands a lot.
just clear my area really quick. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm using this um, edge of the glass to cut the cookie, okay? As a cookie cutter. I didn't, I can't find my cookie cutters right now. All right. And we're just gonna flour. Let me put this up here. Okay. We're just gonna flour the surface. A little flour. Okay. Like so. And now we're gonna put our dough right here like so don't be messy like me be neat you know now at this particular time this is where you want to go ahead and set your oven at 350 which is already there I already set my oven at 350 and we're just going to knead the dough The shortbread cookie, yes. Get into it, okay? Get into it. I love shortbread cookie. This is my version of the strawberry shortcake ice cream. You know when the hood um, ice cream truck came and you got that shortbread ice cream, shortbread um, strawberry shortcake ice cream. This is my version of the short, um, strawberry shortcake ice cream pop. Okay, and it's a bomb too. All right. Yes, I'm getting every little piece up as much as I can. Don't add too much flour because you're going to have a dense cookie, okay? You don't want too much flour, okay? You want a nice soft cookie, not no hard, you know cookie okay so you want it kind of like smooth you know you want your um the dough to be smooth um now i'm gonna go ahead and put it in a back in that glass bowl and let it sit in the refrigerator for a little bit I'm going to say about um, about I'm going to say 10 minutes now you can do it longer than that if you choose to but today I just don't got time for it okay alright and when you don't got time for it you just got to do what you got to do for you okay Your hand up. Do you boo? Do you? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over the ingredients one more time because I did almost forget the vanilla. I said almost. That means um it doesn't count, Brandy. Um, <laughs> so flour. You're gonna need one and a half cups of flour. You're gonna need ten tablespoons of unsalted butter. Okay. You're gonna need one half cup. Of powdered sugar and you're gonna need um, a half a teaspoon of salt okay and a half a teaspoon of vanilla all right so in the refrigerator it goes for about 10 minutes no TV magic on that this time you guys let me clean up my station this chocolate chip cookie let me put my bowl up until my shortbread dough is done 
Okay, so let's get into this chocolate chip cookie because you know it's hard to find a good chocolate chip cookie recipe, and I think I found it, you guys. Yes. So let's get into this flour. You're gonna need one cup. I know on my um crease grocery list I said all-purpose flour, which you we're gonna use all-purpose flour, but if you want that ooey gooey, soft in the middle, crunchy on the outside type chocolate chip cookie that I love then you're going to need bread flour as well. So you're going to need one cup of bread flour. You're going to need three fourth cups of all-purpose flour. You're going to need um, one teaspoon of baking soda. And you're going to need, um, I don't, you don't need to have salt. You don't need salt if you don't want to put salt in there because I already got salted butter, okay? So you're going to need one cup of melted butter now on your stove top you're gonna melt your butter until it's brown so kind of like golden brown it just gives it this kind of um nutty like taste to it so make sure that you brown your butter okay that's one cup that's two sticks okay now let's talk about the sugar now you're gonna need one cup of dark brown sugar now if you don't have dark brown sugar then you can use light brown sugar but dark brown just gives it a more richer taste okay because it has more molasses in the sugar all right and then you're going to need one and a half cup of white sugar you're going to need two large eggs you're going to need two cups because i like a lot of you know chocolate chips in my chocolate chip cookie so yes we're going to use two cups of i like to use semi sweetened chocolate chips okay but you can use milk chocolate you can use dark chocolate whatever you want to use you can use you know you want your chocolate chips chunky you can use chunky you can use m ms you can use um reese's cups whatever you like okay and you're going to need two teaspoons of pure vanilla all right so in this bowl is the bread um is the bread flour the all-purpose flour and the um, baking soda. And you're just gonna whisk it up a little, you know, whisk, whisk. Now, in this bowl here is the brown, the dark brown sugar and the white sugar. And we're gonna have to cream this sugar as well, okay? Yes, there's a lot of creaming going on in here in the previous kitchen. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead on and add my vanilla right now. And I'm gonna go ahead on and add my butter. Remember to brown your butter. And you can tell when the butter is turning brown because it starts to bubble up. And then you can see, you can see that once it starts bubbling up, at first it, it, it is, it's like white. And then it starts to turn brown, okay? And it smells so good, so nutty. Got, got like that nutty smell. It smells so yummy already. And right now I'm just mixing this in. It won't get that, get that cream effect until I add the eggs, okay? I'm just mixing this in real quick before I add my eggs, okay? The best cookies ever, I'm telling you. I try other recipes and no, this is the one. You have to try it for yourself. It's good. Soft and chewy in the middle. And then, you know, I like my edges to be kind of crispy. I'm telling you, this is the recipe that you need to follow. Alright, let's go ahead and cream this 
sugar. Now some chocolate chip cookies, you know, with the butter, it says soften, but I like it when I melt it and when I brown the butter, it just gives it another flavor. It steps it up, it elevates the flavor when you brown your butter. So yummy, you guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hope everybody has a great Sunday. How your Sunday going? How you living? How you feeling? I hope everything is good. Today was a busy day for me today. I literally just um like finished up dinner. Like I had like a um a quick crab boil. I don't know, I might have to show y'all how I do my seafood boil here on Free's Kitchen one episode. How I do things, okay? Okay, so it's starting to kind of like whip, kind of look kind of whip, and that's just, that's the consistency that that I'm looking for. So it's almost there, you guys. Okay, let me go ahead on and take my short break um, dough out. I know it ain't been 10 minutes, but I don't want it to get too, too, too hard because I have to roll it out. Okay, that's good. All right, you guys. So, let me whip it up a little bit longer. You know, we're doing, you know, you're getting a two for one, you know what I'm saying? You got the short bread and getting the chocolate chip. Can't beat that. Two for one deal. you know like this now just add a little um you're gonna add a little bit at a time with the flour start on low and then bring your speed up of the flour in okay just like that I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side just like that and it's okay if you do not mix all the um 
all the flour which in this mixture because we're gonna fold the chocolate chips in and then all the flour will be mixed in okay like that Now, next up, only thing you have to do now is just fold in your chocolate chips. Again, this is two cups of chocolate chips. I use the regular size um, chip and I also use the mini. So, here's the mini, like this, and then here's the regular size. But this is the fun part because you can basically do whatever or put whatever you want in this dough. Okay, so it's not really chocolate chips, uh, chocolate chip cookies until I put the chocolate chip in this dough so if you want to do like a, a peanut butter um chocolate peanut butter cookie with the Reese's cups then you put that in here if you want to do M&M's peanut butter on um, peanut M&M's you put it in here but right now we're going to focus on the chocolate chips so chocolate chips goes in and we're just going to fold the chocolate chips in okay in this dough I'm just trying to make sure that I spread the chocolate chips evenly within the dough. So when you bake it, every every piece can have a chocolate chip. That's how I like mine, you know. Alright, so the dough is now complete. Only thing you have to do with this dough, with chocolate chip dough, you're going to have to at least chill this dough for an hour, okay? And this is the point where I do do my TV magic because I already got some dough made. So with that being said, with this dough, it's going to go straight into the freezer until a later date. Alright, so basically this is how your dough looks with the chocolate chips, see? yes easy peasy easy peasy and it's so yummy and then you're gonna bake this dough um you're gonna bake this cookie at the same temperature at 350 for about about 12 to 15 minutes okay or into golden brown you know let me wash my hands So again, like I said, I already made some dough ahead of time, so it's already been chilled for um, more than an hour. If you can chill, your, chill this overnight and then bake it um, the next day, it, it's going to taste better because the flavors then has marinated, okay? So now we're just going just gonna to add a, um, some saran wrap, cover it, and then I'm going to put my top on, and then this thing is going into the freezer for whenever I want some chocolate chip cookies, okay? Baking sheet. 
And let me clean up my station really quick. Thank goodness for a dishwasher. Yes. I will not be washing nothing. You understand me? Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead on and um so this is basically how your cookie dough is gonna look, okay? It's gonna be kind of you know where you can kind of mess with it, you know, because it's been chilled. So this is how chilled cookie dough looks, okay? Alright. Now let's go ahead on and roll out our shortbread. Put a little flour down, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Like salt bay, you know. There you go. Now we're gonna roll this flour out, this dough out. I'm sorry. You don't wanna mash down too hard, and you don't wanna um make this too flat, okay? And it's okay if it's like cracked. Sometimes I do mash it down with my hands. This is a small batch. Um, this recipe is for a small batch. So you don't want to make it too, too flat. I think this is good enough. Like that. And I'm just going around the edges. So that it doesn't be, it is not cracked, okay? Then you can go ahead on and place these on a, um, your cooking sheet and let these bake, okay? All right, so I do use the glass to cut the cookie. It gives me a nice shaped cookie, see? See how it's not too, too flat? I use my parchment paper to line my baking sheet. You know, easy peasy. And you just put your cookie on the baking sheet. Boom. You know, if you don't got a cookie cutter, it's all good. Just use your glass, you know. Just flatten it out just a little tiny bit. And normally when I do um, shortbread cookies, I kind of make it like a block, you know. And then just cut it like little pieces. It's like little tea biscuits, you know. So, with ice cream sandwiches, I had to do it like this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and slide these cookies in the oven and let this bake for about 13 minutes until it is golden brown. Okay, and then the rest of this dough, I'm going to cook the rest of them, okay? Cause it's not that much to cook so i'm gonna go ahead and cook the rest of these the rest of this dough tonight off camera yeah okay so i'll go ahead on and put this in a saran wrap 
pop this thing back in the refrigerator until later. All right, let me clean my station off, you guys, and wash my hands. I hope I'm not going too fast for those that are cooking along with me. I know a lot of people cook along with me, you know. Remember, you can always, 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 you can always, always, always rewind the video on my YouTube channel, which is Cree's Kitchen. So make sure that you look me up on YouTube at Cree's Kitchen, okay? Subscribe to that channel. Hit that red subscription button to subscribe to the channel. And also, click that notification bell so that you know when I upload new videos, okay? So you will always be on point like a pencil when it comes to my videos. All right? All right. the baking sheet is so I'm going to have to use this pizza tray. It all worked the same. And we're going to break these uh, chocolate chip cookies, okay? We're going to get these chocolate chip cookies in there too. Add the parchment paper. Just like that. And you're going to get you a nice size spoon. And we're just going to make little, little balls. Okay, you're going to roll it up like this. Like this. And you're going to just place them. Now don't um, put them too close because, you know, they spread while they, while they bake. They spread. So you don't want them too close, okay? Again, make sure that you follow me on IG. That's at CRI.Kitchen. Okay? While you at it, if you're not following me, following me by now, go ahead on and do it now. Okay? I ain't going to be doing nothing but sitting up here rolling up these cookies. While you do it. And then you can come right on back. And I'm still going to be rolling up cookies. Okay? Now, if you want more, like, uniform cookies, then use an um, ice cream scooper, okay? i just been making cookies for so long, I just know the exact size, how to roll them up. Use a little ice cream scooper. That'll help me. Okay. Yes. It's all spread out nicely. Let me wash my hands again, you guys. Make sure on your hands. Got to keep your hands washed. So I'm just going to slide this in beside my shortbread cookie, which is looking beautiful.
Okay, a quick tip for the shortbread cookies. When you're at the halfway mark of baking, go ahead on and rotate your baking pan so it can be a nice, even bake, okay? So, with that being said, let me get these cookies out. My little TV, my yum. Here you go. Chocolate chip is already done. And what I do for the chocolate chip is, let me go ahead and get the ice cream out. You know, it ain't nothing better than hogging diet. I'm sorry. It's just they're the top tier. I'm sorry. No discussion, no debate. Hogging diet is the way to go. Okay? Who want who want what? Who want what? Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> Okay, so, and basically, you guys, you know, like I said, crispy, ooey gooey chewy in the middle. Mm hmm. Doesn't like I like it. Yeah, there's yes, this soft cookie. And you get your little ice cream scooper, and you know, for the chocolate chips, I use the vanilla ice cream. Yes. Oh, I thought I had got the vanilla bean. I didn't end up getting the vanilla, but normally I use vanilla bean, okay? For that extra yumminess. I'm thinking, should I wait till my, um, my shortbread get done? But basically, you just scoop your ice cream like this and I just mash it down a little bit a little tiny bit just mash it down and you know it's probably going to be like two small scoops okay when you're making that ice cream um, cookie sandwiches alright and you're just going to mash it down like so like that And then you know you just slap that thing on top like that and there you have it you have your chocolate chip vanilla bean or in this case it's vanilla but we're going to say it's vanilla bean because that's why you normally get okay this is Creed's kitchen let's go with flow this is your chocolate chip vanilla bean cookie ice cream sandwich and it's so good and i'm not going to eat this on camera because i don't want to look like an oink oink you know what i'm saying, what I'm saying? So that's one down, one cookie down, and then you know the shortbread cookie, we add the strawberry because you know that's how you get the um, strawberry shortcake type, you know, cookie, ice cream sandwich, you know, that's all it is to it, that's all it is to it. Now I'm not the type to keep um, rumbling and trying to, I don't like short combo. That's just, I just don't. So I really don't know what to say right now, but go ahead on to add, add me on IG, that's C-R-I dot kitchen. Go ahead on and subscribe to my channel, my YouTube channel, search Crease Kitchen. Hit that subscription button, that little red button down there, go ahead and click that. And also click the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos, okay? Now, let me check these cookies. All right, all right. I'm not quite done yet. Me get a new apron, you guys. I love this color, but you know, I need to step it up. I'm not, I think I want to get like a a brown, like khaki apron, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll sell that on my website once that's completed. I hope no, uh -huh. 
bobby pins ain't sticking on top of my head. But you know how that goes sometimes. Okay, so let me go over the recipe one more time for the shortbread. So for the shortbread, it's going to be one and a half cup of all-purpose flour. It's going to be 10 tablespoons of unsalted butter. It's going to be a half a cup of powdered sugar. And it's going to be one and a half teaspoon of vanilla and one and a half teaspoon of salt. Now for our chocolate chip cookies, it's going to be one cup of bread flour. It's going to be three fourth cups of all purpose. It's going to be two large eggs. It's going to be one cup of dark brown sugar. It's going to be a half a cup of white sugar. It's going to be one tablespoon, one teaspoon of baking soda. It's going to be two teaspoons of vanilla and that's it one cup of butter i'm sorry one cup of butter make sure that you brown your butter okay that means put it on the stove and cook it up until it turns until your your butter turns brown and you can tell when the butter start turning brown because like i said before the bubbles will be white and then all of a sudden it'll start to turn like a caramelish type of color brown and that's when you want to take it off because you don't want to burn the butter then you have some burnt tasting cookies and don't nobody got time for that okay not me all right so make sure that you have to babysit that butter and watch it while it turns brown okay that caramel like brown that light brown all right Okay, so we got one more minute on these shortbread cookies, and then that'll be it. So just give me one minute. One step away from the camera. here. We'll go ahead on and start it. Because those um chocolate chip cookies. Smells so good. When I tell you it smells like a straight up bakery up in here, smell like a straight up bakery up in here, okay? Your girl be baking. Alright, you can tell when your shortbread cookies is done because the outside of it is around the perimeter is brown, okay? Golden brown. And so we're gonna let this cool just a little bit, okay? Because we're making ice cream um cookie sandwiches, and you don't want to put, of course, ice cream on a hot cookie because it's just gonna be a melty mess and we don't got time for that we want a nice you know composed ice cream cookie sandwich all right does that make sense yes it does speaking of that i'm gonna go ahead on and put this in the in the freezer for the ice cream so that ice cream can stay cold, okay? And we're gonna let this chill a little bit. See how it's nice and brown at the bottom? This is what we're looking for, okay? This is what we're looking for. Nice golden brown at the bottom. Ouch, ouch, ouch. It's all right. It's all right. I can take that heat for that golden brown, okay? Now let me go ahead on and put my cookies back on. I'm going to put it on for, I'm going to say, 12 minutes because it was already in the oven with the shortbread cookie. Okay, so that's how we're going to do that. And that's that on that, all right? Golden brown, baby. Yes, I love shortbread cookies. Yes, I do. All right, so I'm just going to put two um, cookies. Let me get a little, a little short, a little 
salsa plate. Cause I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer so it can be, you know, get super cold, super fast, really quick. Cause you know, I don't wanna take up all your time, okay? I mean, we can hang out in my kitchen all day if you would like. But, you know, I'm just trying to make sure that um, the cookies are uniform. So, whichever one goes with whichever one. I think I'm going to use these two. Okay. We can hang out all night and I can teach you some things. And, you know, we can get fat together. Because, you know what I'm saying? I love to cook and I love to bake. Yes. I'm not trying to hold your time. I know mean, you got the guys got things to do. And I do truly, truly, truly appreciate everybody that views me you know i'm new to this and i'm gonna get better and better and better as the time go i'm new to being on camera i'm not a real talkative person so this helps me with my speaking you know to the public out loud because you know i don't really be talking like that you know i mind my business and keep it moving you don't need to do a whole bunch of talking when you mind your business that pays you feel what i'm saying So we're just gonna let that cookie cool down. My freezer gets super duper cold, okay? It's straight up the north from the North Pole in my freezer, so it's not gonna take that long for my cookies to cool down. And while you're out and about, make sure, please, 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 you know that Corona is still, aka Rona, is still roaming around. Please make sure that you mask up make sure that you wash your hands okay you show you supposed to be washing your hands anyway before the coronavirus but anyway you know that's a whole other subject make sure that you wash your hands for at least 20 seconds okay in the hottest water that you can stand you know got your lysol spray 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 for those that's on the more natural make sure that you burn that sage because you know how sage does for the air okay and also make sure that you use your um your hand sanitizers okay when you can't get to that sink make sure that you you know use that hand sanitizer okay we're trying to be safe and we're trying to stop this spread of the COVID-19 because don't nobody want to be on house arrest for the rest of 2020 okay don't you want to go outside don't you want to go to the pool have fun go to a barbecue with more than 10 people I know I do okay and I don't even eat meat, but still I just want to be around my people, around my family. And so make sure that you stay safe, mask up, and wash those hands, okay? Let me check these cookies. Okay, alright. They good. They nice and chill, you know. They nice and chill. We can do this. Nice and soft. Woo, yes. It's late night, you know. I'll be trying not to eat after after eight or whatever, but you know. I wish somebody can come over here and eat these cookies. These ice cream sandwiches. Cookie ice cream sandwiches. Okay, so basically you just do the same thing. Woo, yes. And you just mash it down. And it's so pretty. It's so pretty. That light pink on this light cookie with the little, you know, bright red from the strawberry. Yes, let's get into it. There you go. It's so soft and flaky, it's breaking, you guys. That's how soft this cookie is. But yes, the chocolate chip vanilla bean and your shortbread strawberry, aka strawberry shortcake um, cookie ice cream sandwiches. This is what it is, okay? This is what it is. It's so good. It's so... I'm not going to do this on camera, you guys. I'm not going to eat this on camera. I'm, I made a promise to myself I'm not going to be on, on, on camera. I'm just not. No. All right? I'm about to catch me on a letter date, all right, on that. Well, anywho, like I said, you know, with that bread flour, it makes it so chewy on the on the middle and so crispy on the outside. Get that recipe a try. Again, let me put this cookie over here because this is the star right here. This is the star. 
Okay, again, shortbread cookie with strawberry ice cream, aka strawberry shortcake. And then you have the, you know, original OG chocolate chip with vanilla bean, aka your milk and cookies, all right? Ice cream sandwich. And there you have it, you guys. Again, make sure that you follow me on my uh, all on all my social media um, outlets. That's my IG. That's at cri.kitchen. Also, follow me on my YouTube channel and search Creed's Kitchen. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. So you